Welcome back, friends, with more Arcane. And this is episode three. So excited to continue with the show. Last time we were introduced to Jace and his experiments with magic. He was kicked out of school because of it and only had Victor there on his side and only secretly at the end. Also, Vi was about to give herself up to save her friends and Powder to protect the Undercity. We'll see how that turns out in just a few moments. Really loving the show though. It's been incredible. Full reaction is going to be on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, really helps with the channel, and let's get started. Ever wonder what it's like to drown? The story of opposites. You thrash. There's Turn of life. There's this thing in your head, and it's raging. Lighting every nerve with madness. To fight. Is that what his eye? To survive. That wasn't Vander, was it? Don't give yourself up! Vander? Oh. You've got a good heart. Don't ever lose it. No matter how the world tries to break you. Protect the family. What are you- <laughs> He's going instead of her? No! no oh god! I'm guessing that's for me. No. This is... Why? Because <laughs> he loves her. Anyway. Oh shit, it's the... Kid turned monster. Oh shit! He's still not... Very big, he's... Oh no, this, this is him. Wait. Stay back! Oh fuck! Oh god damn it. This wasn't the deal. Deal's changed. God damn. I think he's taking him captive and not killing him. Knocked him out first though. I mean, she doesn't really know what happened. It's covered in blood. She, for all she knows, Vander's dead, right? Jeez. It works. Yeah, on paper. Well, we could test it if we had access to my equipment. Which is being destroyed tomorrow. What? Oh. We're gonna have to break in. Not without the crystals. The enforcers took them while they're gone. Powder has some. No, no, no. You heard the council. If we're wrong, got to be right, then. Why? <laughs> I don't know if I trust Victor fully yet, but it'll lead to some great things. Who's coming in now? Who's left to come in? Echo. Oh man, he saw the carnage out there. He can turn back to normal kid. They got so much of that. You won't win a war against Piltover. I don't have to. I just need to scare them. You'll get people killed. And for what? Pride? For respect. That's a worth of death? We shared a vision, Vanda. A dream. Jeez. Of Not just for the lanes, but the whole of the underground. I trusted you. And you betrayed me. Jeez. Can you imagine what it's like when your blood mixes with the filth and the river toxins eat through your nerves? Yikes. The only way to defeat a superior enemy is to stop at nothing, to become what they fear. Wow. I, we can finally realize our dream, brother. Look Maybe. At what you've done. Maybe he'd be open to it if you hadn't killed Benzo. These kids, I'm just not that man anymore. Now I'll show you what you really are. Oh shit. Oh. That was the woman who said we needed to fight, wasn't it? They're gonna find out it's gone. Unless they didn't take inventory and we'll be like, oh. So far, so good. I thought there was more, but I guess not. Shit! 
Wait a minute, it's a bedroom. bedroom. I recognize that any worthwhile venture involves risk. Ooh. And so she'll cover for you. One night, gentlemen. Impress me, or I'd suggest you pack your bags. Wow. Oh. Well. Oh, Councillor McDonald. <laughs> Benzo's dead. Dead? They took Vander. Who took Vander? I don't know, but I need to help him. We're going with you. Oh what man. The old cannery next to the docks. Oh man. He said. She wants to go to. I need you to sit this one out, Powder. I can help. You're not ready. You're not. You're not right now. I'm sorry. This You're is too all dangerous. I have left. For kid, but yeah, she can't come on this mission. I don't think. I don't know how they can win against that it's thing. Here. Oh, we're gonna work on it here. I thought we were like stealing it and going back home. But all right. Powder. Powder. Whoa. Ah! Oh. Now she wants to use those to help. I can help them. Crap. I mean, yes, but also I don't want you to. I told you it would work. Nice. All yours. Excuse me? Oh, I thought it was about to repair itself. Very interesting. I thought it was about to repair the window it just broke. Oh, God. Found him, but... Is he under surveillance? There's guards everywhere. They're better than you think. We found an open window and... Oh, God. You have to get out. Oh, it's yeah. a trap! Welcome. It's a fucking trap! Oh, God damn it! They led them here? Plagger, see if you can find another way out of here. Okay. You don't have to Plagger. Do this. Throw one right at them. And hope it kills all of them. That's a big guy. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> You know how much she's practiced? You see those high score on that arcade game? Jeez. Alright, good job, Milo. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. God damn. Oh, jeez. Oh, he sees potential. He's getting tired. Jeez. We don't stand a chance against this thing. She took down so- Holy fuck. Shh. Powder. Throw that crystal right into his mouth. And he- Will that hold him? With the intuition from- what he felt back then? Wow. They freaking did it. Wow, I didn't think they'd finish it in the next freaking episode. Oh. Actually, done it. <laughs> Just be. Perhaps it's time for the era of magic. Hextech. Hextech. <laughs> wow. You put two of them in there? That's gonna give at some point. Come on, Clagger! You're almost there! Let's go! Oh! How big is this explosion gonna be? Yikes! All of the shimmers gone! Oh, and he's. Probably dead. Did Vi get hit by- Oh my god, is this gonna keep happening? Or is it- Oh god, oh god. 
I think you made it a little too strong, Powder. Oh shit! No! Oh. She doesn't realize she just killed... ...her brothers. They had their way out, they were gone! They were good! This thing's still not even... ...really phased. She's dead, right? Don't stop! Uh, no! Frickin... Damn you, Silco. Crush him! Let it be your last a He regretted it. He won't do it. God damn it. Uh... He has to ingest it for it to work, right? I want Vander, don't die here. I can't believe they just killed Milo and Klagor, like... You're gonna take it? Oh, shit! Anything to survive? Anything to save? Vi. Jeez. Damn. Take care about her. Oh shit, there's blood. Oh shit. They're on their own. My monkey bomb finally worked. You did this. Yeah. Fucking hell. You to stay away. Bye. No. Why did you leave me? Because you're a jinx. Do you hear Fuck. That? Milo was right. No, don't do no. this. No. Bye. <laughs> what now? Oh shit! I'll kill you if he hears you. What the heck? Where's your sister? She left me. She. Oh no. She is not my sister anymore. Powder. No, no, no. What? Did she not see who. They were fighting? I'll show them. What the fuck? We will show them all. Shit. This is not where I th what I thought was gonna happen. That's the second time they they referred to her as Jinx. Is she actually Jinx? This is like a season finale kind of thing. How are they? This is episode three. What the heck? This episode was rough, and it gave me freaking chills. Vi hit Powder and saw the blood on her hand and on Powder's face and just realized what a big mistake she made, but she still just needed a moment away from her because Vander's dead, Clagger's dead, Milo's dead, and she needed a moment. But then Silco comes and Marcus stopped Vi from going back. But now, poor Powder, she thinks that Vi abandoned her, and in her desperation, she falls into the hands of Silco. He considered killing her for a moment, he was holding that knife, but he saw that he could use her instead. She's desperate, she's alone. He saw somebody he could groom, which it's going to be disgusting watching how this plays out. And I wonder what exactly Silco's feelings are regarding Powder. Is there some part of him that wanted to keep her alive because Vander was once his brother and this is his child? Will he grow to care about her at all, or is this strictly practical he sees another weapon against Piltover? And I actually missed Silco's name altogether the first two episodes, but we saw at the start of this episode that he was nearly drowned by Vander. They were brothers, and that day fundamentally changed who Silco was and what he was capable of, and now Powder will become Jinx under his tutelage. And, okay, for those of you who are more familiar with League of Legends, at what point did you know that Powder was Jinx? Was it right from the start? Was it when Milo called her a Jinx? Because when she did, when he did that, I thought it was just a reference to Jinx the character, not that Powder was actually Jinx. And I guess I didn't think Powder was Jinx because I thought Powder was probably already her own character. And I guess, yeah, people who played League of Legends would probably know that 
Powder wasn't a champion, and the blue hair might have been a giveaway as well, but uh, I didn't know until right at the end there. And also, how much backstory was available before the show? Like, did everybody already know that Vi and Jinx were sisters? And that Powder was raised by Silco, turned into Jinx? This was such an overwhelming episode, though. Our problem seemed so much smaller at the start of the episode. It was just like, Vi, no, don't go to jail for your friends. Or, no, Vander, don't take her place. And then Grayson was killed, and Benzo was killed. Echo was so broken up about that, poor kid. And then Vander was taken, and now Milo and Clagger are dead, and... I actually don't know if Vander is completely dead or not. He was bleeding a lot from his head, but who knows what that serum is capable of. And I guess we might find out later on, or have confirmed death at some point later on. And then we also had Jace's storyline, able to sneak in with Victor to finish his experiments while Mel ran interference a little bit. And I still don't know what to think of Victor. Uh, last time, I was very suspicious of him, but in this episode, he seems very genuine sometimes in his intellectual pursuits. I definitely said some self-interest last episode, but maybe it's just that he wants to prove himself, not that he has some nefarious scheme. And I want to believe he's a good guy, with that very cute scene of him and Jace risking everything, and then floating up in the air together, that was very, very cute. And Jace also called Victor his partner, which might or might not have romantic implications, but now they share this Hextech dream of theirs, and it'll change Pilt over forever. And Mel has enough sway with the council to get them to agree to keep it around, of course. And it's also going to change the dynamic between Silco and Piltover as well, because Silco wanted to bring the war to them. But with Piltover now having this Hextech, it could change things drastically as well. But yeah, circling back to Vi and Powder, do I call her Jinx now? I don't want her to be Jinx. I just want her to be a kid and get to be a child. But... I was right about those crystals being used to power her weapons. The trouble is, Vi and the others were going to be able to escape if she hadn't interfered. They had an exit already, everything was going fine, and Powder, she's going to wind up blaming herself for a very long time. And I understand why Vi told her to stay behind. It was too dangerous and she didn't think Powder was ready. And she wound up giving her a flare, telling her to set it off if she wanted to reach her. And with how dark this show is going... With me realizing that it's Powder and Jinx in the opening who are at odds with each other, that flair will either be used in a very emotionally triumphant way, or in a completely heartbreaking manner. Like, will she reach out to her sister again after a really long time, or will she use it to lure her to Silco? And I'm not sure at this point. But I think right now, Powder is just very emotional in the moment in Silco's arm, uh, saying that Vi is no longer her sister. But we also saw her completely breaking down it several times in this episode as well. Uh, she has so much trauma in her that she's... But she's been able to persevere because she has her sister. But when Vi leaves her to save Vander, Powder just had a huge outburst. There's a lot of repressed stuff there that's just all out in the open now. She's extremely raw and exposed for a Silco to take advantage of. But yeah, that fighting scene with Vi wielding Vander's gauntlets was really, really cool. She takes out so many people, makes it all the more confusing that the fight she had with those punks on the street was even remotely close. But yeah, what a end to the episode though. Powder completely broken down, primed for Silco to build her back up in whatever image he sees fit. And his main goal is to push Piltover away, make the Undercity hold its own. He'll make Powder into a weapon to that end. And I mean, she's already great with guns. We saw that at the arcade. And her inventions and the crystals. We saw her use three of them, I believe. She put two of them inside and one where the monkey toy was like clanging on it. And so I don't know how many there were in total, but I think she has a few left, like two or three left, right? And I have to give a shout out to the performance given by the voice actress. And the animation department did such a great job animating Powder. That was just sublime. Felt so much pain there. And then Powder's eyes turned the color of her sister's hair at the end. I don't even know what that's about, but it's so compelling. But yeah, people who hyped up this show definitely did not oversell it. I was so hooked after just the first episode, but I feel that way even more now. Really, really incredible. The animation is just quality, just next level. And I really don't want to see Vi and Powder fight against each other, but I'm also too invested not to continue. So I'm really, really enjoying this show, and I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying this journey with me. Full reaction is going to be on Patreon in the link in the description below. If you've made it this far, you're great, awesome, love you. And uh, leave a like, really helps with the channel. I'll see you guys next time with more. Bye, friends.